100 years has been the increase in power of the executive. We have thousands of orders written by the executive. Um, Montesquieu wrote and said, you know, he was big on the separation of powers and the checks and balances. He said when the executive begins to legislate, that becomes a form of tyranny. The check and balance is that the executive, the president's not allowed to legislate, only the legislature can. But it's a messy process and you gotta, you, everybody's gotta just come to grips with that. It's a messy process, it's not easy. But that's why you have to convince people on the other side of the aisle to vote for your stuff. And it is also why we have so much contention over the health care plan. Not one Republican voted for it. Had there been some Republicans voting for it, or had the Democrats come a little bit to our side to have a discussion, I don't think we'd be having this big war in our country right now. So really, I think the way I look at issues is, you don't have to agree on everything. We are probably a mixture of people from parties in, in all different walks of life here. And let's say we take 10 issues. We're not gonna agree all on all 10. You know, we might agree on three out of 10. Why don't we work on the three out of 10 issues we agree on rather than spend our whole time fighting on the seven out of 10? 